everybody, it's Anna from Blastburn Radio, and it's time to do a PvP team builder. We didn't do one last week because, uh, if you remember, we had two Pokemon and one of them had no offensive moves. But it's doubles this week, and we need to figure out what we're bringing this evening before recording, which is, as of this, this, this recording is in an hour. Uh, all the training's been done, so no worries about that. So let's just let's just talk a little bit about what Steven and Celeste are bringing this week. So on the list of uh, actors, if you will, Steven is bringing uh, Quilden, Ponyard, Crobat, Plusle, Meowstic, Gyarados, Tyrant, and Pinsir. Um. We will definitely see the Plusle, as a point of note. Uh, the Plusle, why will we see the Plusle? Plusle gets Helping Hand at level 10. And this is Doubles Week, so Plusle will definitely show up. Plusle also threatens Aerodactyl, it threatens Psyduck, um, and it threatens Chaton which isn't fantastic, but it's mostly gonna be there to buff up other Pokemon. And I think the prime beneficiary of Plusle's Helping Hand is gonna be Gyarados. So Gyarados is an amazingly powerful Pokemon. Intimidate alone is, is worth every penny. Um, and a large portion of my team, uh, Aerodactyl, uh, part, of, part of Amora's set, uh, Hippotas, uh, they're all physical attackers. Water threatens Aerodactyl, breaks in Amora, Diggersby, and Hippotas. And I don't have much on my team that actually threatens, actually threatens Gyarados in any meaningful way. So, and you know, it's, it's stats are good. So I have a feeling, a eh, hunch. That we're gonna see that plusle just buffing up, just absolutely buffing up that their good good lad, uh, that Gyarados. And I mean, it serves me right. I've kick, kicked my co-host asses with Gyaradoses in several seasons. So, what are we gonna do about that? That's really uh, that's really a hard sell for us. I think that the the biggest thing that we can do. Um, on the go is not lead with a physical attacker if we can help it because that is a a pretty big deal um having to switch on turn one when in, when a gyarados is coming out is really not great particularly when it is likely to be buffed by a helping hand so we just gonna keep that in mind i think i'm gonna end up bringing along Roselia and leading Roselia. Um, the, honestly, the, the greatest weapon in our arsenal this week, because, spoilers, we're pretty outmatched by our, our two friendos, uh, is speed control. Carmelite has Tailwind, and Amora has Icy Wind. And so we do have some capability to change the tide of battle on speed. Uh, additionally, we got a choice scarf from Chatot. So that is that is really solid. So the question is for Steven, what are we gonna bring? Uh, Roselia is gonna come. Doesn't know any poison moves yet, which is a pain in the ass because having that to fight with Quilladin would be very, very helpful. I think that we're gonna bring Diggersby. We're gonna bring Hugo, just cause he's he's fully evolved and he hits pretty hard. What do I wanna do in terms of... I think Amora's coming for speed control. Aerodactyl, Amora, Roselia, Diggersby, that's Four. We got two slots left. I would be stupid not to bring this chat on. 
This chat uh, has boom burst and has chatter and has nasty plot. Not that I think that I'm going to get a huge opportunity to set up nasty plot, but if I could, that could very, very easily um, help pick up the, the tide of the battle for us. What else is in here that is reasonably good to have? <clears throat> Hugo, uh, not Hugo, Hippotas London has some bulk, but is legitimately threatened by Gyarados and Quilladin. But is a good switch in if I think that Plessel is going to electrocute something. And it could probably take reasonable, you know, I say reasonable hits from Crobat. I think that we're going to see Pinsir, so Rock Tomb is going to be a, something that we're going to want to have, again, for speed control. <clears throat> Does it make sense to bring my duck against Steven? Yeah, I think it does. I, th I think it does. What else would I bring? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. What does that look like? So I bring six here. Who's in the party? Princess, Carmelite, Hugo. <clears throat> Let's go get people out of the, the pooter. Oh yeah, I didn't want to do that. Organize. No. Organize boxes. So these four. This chat out special attack is 74. Its speed is 81. I think it's almost the fastest thing on my team. Aerodactyl is faster. I'll bring that. Breaks in is pretty fast. It's got pretty good special attack. What is Breaks in threatened though, legitimately? It threatens Crobat, though it's not gonna be as fast as Crobat, so that's that's a thing. I'm gonna get bit right in the face. It threatens Ponyard, though, admittedly, I don't think we're going to see Ponyard in here. Uh, also, as a point of note, Dark-type, Samsara doesn't really like to deal with Dark-types a whole lot. It can threaten Pinsir, but again, Bug. Tyrant's going to have Bite. Gyarados is going to have Bite. Basically, it can, it can threaten Quilladin. You can threaten Quilladin and it can come out it come out reasonably to fight Meowsic, but not then not do a whole lot about it. Um, and the fact that he has immunes for stab psychic isn't great and fire doesn't hit well it hits a decent amount here. By comparison, what does the duck look like? 62 special attack, 53 s speed, 64 HP. It's not much different in a HP, for sure. Only a little bit, well, it's a lot of bit slower as far as that's concerned. Oh, we're bringing Hippotas for Yawn. That's what we're gonna do. A lot of our capability to be competitive in this match is going to be by being Trixie. Uh, very, very Trixie 
which is important. Unfortunately, the things the things that would be helpful for us to do are not everything so vulnerable to some of the pieces on his team is the problem. And poor Amora is, is slow, slow, slow. But Icy Wind is is pretty rocking. I mean, I could give Amora a fucking... <laughs> oh, how ridiculous would that be if I give a choice scarf to Amora? I think this is the team we're going to bring for Steven. Um, as for items, I legitimately got to think about, think about that. Having the scarf is good. God, my diggers be, is all grown up and has a 52 attack stat, but it's not doing dramatically better than a lot of my stuff. Is the duck better here? No, this thing has 80 hit points. It can take a hit. It's not the worst. The duck's defenses are, are notably worse. I don't gain much from it. Yeah, this is going to be the squad for Steven right here. Chatot, Hippotas, Diggersby, Roselia, Aerodactyl, and Amora. We need to teach some people some moves, too, as a point of note. We need to... Rock Tomb. Aerodactyl, you need some stab, my dude. We will not be getting rid of Wide Guard this turn because there are some Pokemon on my opponent's teams that have moves that will hit the whole field. We are going to get rid of Curse. The one thing Aerodactyl never wants to be is slow because it's not very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not very sturdy. And while Curse makes it more sturdy, not enough so that I would really want to bet everything on Curse. Um, there are better options. I think it can learn Hone Claws, uh, but we will be not honing any claws this particular week. So let's get the Curse out of there. Let's get Rock Tomb on this. We have strength on Hippotas, which is great. I could teach rest and sleep talk to Hippotas, but I don't know how, how well that would work out for us. He's not bulky enough yet. When he when he grows up, that'll be less of a concern. Venushock is uh, a poison move, which would be way better if things were already poisoned but you know what just having that to oops uh to threaten things like quilladin is is very helpful okay what move should be forgotten This <laughs> growth is is really good but not for like right now is is part of the problem
we got to get this Venus shock on somewhere. And the question is, what do we drop? Stun score is very good. We're not going to be able to use growth this week. Grass whistle might come in handy in a pinch. I mean, it's it's not accurate, but if you can get a sleep off at a critical moment, that might be legitimately exactly what we need. Everything can learn protect. And in doubles, this actually matters. Who do I want to <clears throat> learn this shit? I think the real question with Steven is, can we set a clever trap for Steven somewhere? Namely, put a vulnerable target out in front of him with the intent of letting him blow them up. Like a great example of this is, let's say we're in a position where he leads Gyarados and he leads Plusl. And I have an Aerodactyl on the field, right? It's intimidated. Or I have Hippotas on the field. Literally anything that's vulnerable to this Gyarados that it wants to get out of here ASAP. Like, there's a good possibility that I'm able to do Protect on the Vulnerable Mon while they, like, smash grab into him and get a nasty plot up on Chata, which would be unfucking believable um, And then on the next turn, Tailwind to increase its speed faster than the plusle and fucking boom burst. The problem is, is that the Aerodactyl... Do I really want to drop wide guard is the question of the day. Do I want to drop wide guard for protect? I don't think that I do. Let's, what do you know, Hippotas? I don't really want to get rid of any of this. Not that I'm going to get a flinch off on fucking anyone ever because this individual is somewhat slow, but having something to bite me out stick with would be nice. Chatot knows Taunt as a point of note, which is extremely valuable here, too. What pieces... ...that we could reasonably get rid of some shit up in here? I mean, I don't know, Double Kick is... I got rid of that. We could priority... 
Mud Slap isn't going to do jack crap for damage, but the accuracy down isn't the worst. But I think the trade off for mind games is good. And I think I am going to put Protect on Carmelite. God, I hope I don't come to regret this. There's not a ton on their teams that hits everything at the moment. Like, this is a great ability for, like, later on when Surf is running around everywhere, but the individual protect status may be a better option here. That Plusle is just a couple points faster than my Chowtaw, which is not fantastic as a point of note. Protect, Cut, Munishock, Hone Claws, Return. Rock Tomb. Do we want to teach Rock Tomb to you? I think we probably do. We're going to keep Stab. Bite doesn't do enough for us this week. My question is, do I put Rock Tomb here? Or do I put Protect here? We'll put Rock Tomb in there. I need that fucking yawn so bad. There's too many birds. There's there's literally too many birds for me to give up strength for protect. I have other means of speed control though. What does having Rock Tomb on Hippotas give us? Gives us the ability to hit Crobat super effectively, Gyarados super effectively, Pinsir super effectively, Skarmory super effectively. Charmeleon super effectively. And a more super effectively. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it on.
Dig also has value as an ability that can keep you out of harm's way for a turn, but it's too predictive. What is Hippo Tesla? Learn next week. This is important. Dig's actually been kind of good for us. We passed on Sand Tomb. We get Earthquake at 37, but I think we evolved before then probably. Yeah, we evolved at 34. Kapowdon. It's Earthquake at 40. This is the only ground type move I'm going to know for a bit. For a hot minute. Hopefully I don't live to regret this. Goodbye, Dig. Okay, that takes care of what we're doing for Steven. I don't know where items are going yet. That's the thing that I'm gonna have to figure out. What about Celeste? What is Celeste bringing this week? Celeste is bringing Snorlax, gross. Um, Skarmory, gross. Uh, Floet, Frogadier, Breloom, Charmeleon, Amora, and Pikachu. That Skarmory is going to make our lives real bad, y'all. It is, it is not going to be a good time. So is Snor Snorlax. I don't got anything that hits Snorlax super effectively for lots of damage. Um, Diggersby has double kick, and that might do fine, um, which is good. So I think Diggersby, again, is coming. Hugo's going to come with us. I think it makes sense to bring Hippotas this time as well. We'll bring Roselia. All right, let's figure out what this looks like for Celeste, but we're gonna do it in the box. For Celeste, it looks like... <laughs> One. Speed control. Is this faster? We have some grass and we got some steel to deal with, so Brakeson is coming this time around. I actually think the duck doesn't come. It's threatened by Pikachu. Snorlax can soak special hits um, reasonably well. Frogadier, though it is somewhat weak. Can come in on it. Ah. Uh, you have confusion, which isn't the worst. 
Brakeson is a great switch in for for Breloom. Roselia is coming in. Hippotas is coming in. And Chachan, I think. I think that Princess maybe stays on the sidelines for this one. It's very threatened by, by Breloom. It is threatened by Skarmory. It is threatened by Charmeleon? Is it threatened by Charmeleon? Yeah, I think that that's, that's a good call on our part. I think this is it right here. The question of the day is who on the team is getting the choice scarf? Item. I think it's Rose. I think Rose takes good advantage of the boost in speed to threaten um, a couple, some things on, on both sides, uh, though admittedly it makes Stun Spore and Grass Whistle less useful. Or I could just let Chatot hold it. The chances that I'm going to get a nasty plot off is honestly not the, the bestest. We can confuse things with Chatter, which is great. Boo Burst is, is fucking redonkulous. I think I think we're actually going to leave the item No, I didn't want you to hold a pokeball. You big weirdo. I got a rocky helmet. Um We've picked up so much garbage that I didn't even realize. All right, you're getting a choice scarf. You are getting a Rocky helmet. We need the fucking chip. My cat is about to jump up here. <laughs> that Venusaur, right? I think Poison Barb is a good item to give to Rose. What item should we give to Brakeson for today? Do we have anything in here of great 
worth. I don't have any flying type moves on anybody, so sharp beak is less helpful. Thanks for that full heal, bud. I think Brakeson is getting an Ornberry. There's anything else in here that is I don't have any bug type moves. I have some berries in the the whatchamacallit. The garden. Where am I? Where is the garden? What town am I in? I think that's over here, right? Let's hope that these are grown. If they aren't, that's fine. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'll plant more of these later tonight. Uh, that's the one thing. I got Chesto berries. I got a resto Chesto on somebody. <clears throat> Lots of berries from planting, which is great. Let's head back to the Pokemon Center. What items do we want to give who here? Uh, bag. Confusion. Poisoning. Sleep. Oh, God. I never remember which ones are which for these Aguav and Mago berries. Let's look that up before we hand them to ever anyone. Mago berry. Confuses Pokemon with brave, quiet, sassy, or relaxed natures. Well, this isn't helpful. I have no... Po it's a good thing I didn't get into a fight, y'all, while I was running down there. I forgot the whole fucking team was in the goddamn bank. That would have been the most embarrassing wipe in the world. You're relaxed. You can't have a Mago Berry. You are... Party. You can have a Mago Berry. Item. Mago Berry. You're naive. You can also have a Mago Berry. You should be able to have an Agua Berry. Item. I should probably... You're relaxed, so... Let's just check the, the Agua... The Agua Berry. 
just to make sure we're not insane. Naughty Rash, Naive, or Lax. So good. Good. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> the duck makes no teams this week, which is disappointing because the duck, for reals, y'all, the duck has, like, the best IVs on my team. At least of the stuff that I've caught. Alright, I think I organized this properly. This cat is trying to kill me right now. This boy, when he wants attention, will jump into the back of my chair and then claw me in the back. Which you can, as you can imagine, isn't great. Okay. He's on the ground now. That's our PvP prep. Um, dealing with Celeste, as a point of note, is going to be pretty, pretty not great. Skarmory is so difficult to break. Just when you, when, when you have a, a full, like, OU team, I got to do it with a Brakeson, which is not freaking fantastic. Oh no, the cat is again on the ground. I don't know what she's going to lead. Could literally be anything. I'll end up having to set up some... He's back up here. God damn it. Um... I'm going to set up an interesting lead for her. I don't know what it's going to be because I can't really predict where that's going to come from. I guess we'll see. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to go do these matches here in a couple minutes. And we'll see you next time. Hey y'all, it's Anna from Blastberg Radio. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on our journey through the Kalos region. If you want to make sure to keep up to date on all the gameplay for Blastburn Radio Season 8, you can do so here on YouTube and only on YouTube this season. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, maybe give us a like if you enjoyed the video. And additionally, if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video, you got to hit that bell. That's the way YouTube works. I don't make the rules. From all of us here at Blastburn Radio, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for loving our show and we will see you next time. Bye.